Hello everybody, in this video on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator, we're gonna talk about how do I look at the table of values when I graph a function? And then also how do I change the table of values? Okay, so let's get into it. Let's turn our calculator on and let's go into Y equals and let's graph a function. Today we're gonna graph a quadratic function. So I'm gonna use my right arrow to go over and we're gonna graph X squared minus two X minus three. And let's hit graph. Okay, so we have our parabola there. So now, it, what, would, what would we do if we wanted to find the table of values? Well, if we see right here above graph, there's the word table. And anytime we wanna reach or use the feature that is above a button, we need to hit the second key. So let's hit second and graph. So now this gives us our table of values. Notice the leftmost column is your X values. So generally speaking, that's just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. If we go up, we can start to see some negative values. And then we can just keep going up and down forever, okay? And then the next column says Y1. And notice there's some other columns over here. If we had multiple functions graphed here, then this would be Y1, Y2, Y3, so on and so forth. And we could look at all of the table of values for all of our functions at one time, okay? So now that's how you get to the table, second graph. But let's talk about how to adjust the table. Let's say um, you had a question and it said, what is Y when X is 1,000? And so you go to your table of values and you're like, wow, I'm at, I'm at 10. I'm gonna have to go down for a long time to get to a thousand, right? Um, or maybe you had a question that said, uh, what is Y when X is 9.5? Maybe, maybe it's not a whole number. Maybe it's some kind of decimal. So let's, let's talk about that. So right here we see the window button and above that we see TBL set. So that stands for table set. So let's hit second window and let's see what we get. So right now it tells you there's two things we could adjust here um, that's gonna allow us to see some different values on our table. The first thing says table start. So that's just the calculator asking you what number, what X value do you wanna see first? Okay, so mine says table start five. So let's just say we wanna change this to 10 and let's hit second graph to go back to our table and look what it did. It put 10 as my first X value that we see, okay? So that's what table start does. So if we go back to the first question that I posed, where I said, we wanna know when X is 1,000, we could type in 1,000 right there, hit second graph, and that's gonna tell us what our X values are starting at 1,000, right? So that's very useful, okay? Now let's talk about that other button that we have. So second table set, let's change this table start back to one, and look at this other thing we have right here. It's a, it's a triangle and it says TBL. So the triangle there is a Greek symbol for delta, which we use sometimes with the slope formula. It just means change, right? So how do you want your table to change? Do you want it to go up by ones? Do you want it to go by twos? Do you want to see some decimals? That's what this is asking us. So let's say we want to think about that, that second question that I posed where we want, we want to find what is Y when X is 9.5. So let's change this to 0.5, okay? And now we hit second table. And now look, we can see our X values to the halves, right? So one, 1 1.5, two, so on and so forth. So we could go down a little bit of ways and there's 9.5 right here. And so now we can find what Y is when X is 9.5, okay? And so that's how you find the table of values on the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. And that's also how you adjust where you want your table to start and the increments that you want your X values to be shown in.